Okay. So here we are again in Revel, and we're looking at recursive helper methods. So the method we're designing here is called is palindrome, and this is uh, going to be a new way of calculating the palindrome for a string. So the easiest way to do this is to create a new class called recursive palindrome, and then we'll define is palindrome string. And then we have a second method here called is palindrome that takes in a string, an index, and an ending index. The test cases are defined down here. So we have moon, and then we have is palindrome here. So the simple uh, test for this is we have input, which is defined as a string, the low index, and the high index, and the output is a boolean, true or false. So to work through this, take out a piece of paper and write out the code. The thing that you'll need to do is actually fill in the blanks here. So if I, if I copy the code here and I go ahead and reset it, you can see that these are the pieces of code that we need to fill in. As I put this back in, here's the test cases. So why is this the case for high less than or equal to low true? Take the case moon, for example. All right, so the first check is, is moon a palindrome? So you pass in the string moon, and you pass in the low index and the high index. So this is going to come up with m and n. So the first step is 3 less than or equal to 0, since the total length is 3. Well, it's not, so we're going to skip that case. The next is to check to see if the beginning character m at the low index matches the high character at the end n. Well, it doesn't, so that's going to return false. The next one is new. The two base cases are going to pass here, so high is going to be uh, greater than low, so it skips that. n equals n, so it's going to skip that. Then what we do is we get this is palindrome called here. And what we'll do is we'll increment the low end, and we'll decrement the high end, and we'll close that window for the palindrome. And if we run this, we can see that your code is correct. So here, two overloaded is palindrome methods are defined. The first method is palindrome string s checks whether a string is a palindrome, and the second method is palindrome string s int low int high checks whether it's sub string s low to high is palindrome. The first method passes a passes the string with low equal to zero and high equal to s dot length minus one. The second method, the second method can be invoked recursively to check its palindrome in ever shrinking substring. It is a common design technique in recursive programming to define a second method that receives additional parameters and is a recursive helper method. So helper methods are very useful in designing recursive solutions for problems involving strings and arrays. The sections that follow give two more examples. So we'll stop there.